So I've been working on a new teardrop trailer design, and right now I'm kind of in that early general space planning part of it. So before I get too far into it, I wanted to make a video to kind of both show where I'm at right now, as well as get some input on a few different ideas that I have that I'm kind of on the fence about. So without further ado, let's get into the design. First, I just wanted to do a quick comparison to show the difference in size between the two. And as you can tell, it's quite a bit. Let's just start with some general information about the trailer. This trailer is gonna be five foot by 10 foot versus the four foot by eight foot of the old trailer. That's gonna allow for quite a bit more room to play with some extra storage and things like that. So let's start on the exterior. First, we have a propane tank mounted on the tongue. I'll get into why that's there later. Behind the propane tank is the same utility cooler rack as on the last trailer, or a toolbox is another option. So the third configuration could be a front hitch receiver to hold your standard hitch mounted bike rack. Next is a roof rack, pretty self-explanatory. This gives the ability to put on a solar shower or an awning, haul your kayak, you know, the list goes on. Between the roof racks is a fantastic fan vent. Either that or a max air fan. If anyone out there with experience with both of these fans has an opinion on which is better, let me know in the comments, I'm really interested to know. So I'm contemplating making larger custom side doors for the trailer. It'd be a bit wider than your general uh, manufactured door, which would make it the trailer a bit easier to get in and out of. So it's the same off-road wheels and tires as the last trailer with the Timurin axless suspension um, and literally axless suspension since I didn't model it in there. So let's pull away the side and look at the inside. First off is a queen size bed, much more spacious for two than the three quarter full in the smaller trailer. So I found this really cool tri-folding mattress and I wanted to utilize that to create a futon style couch. This will make it more comfortable to use during the day, say like when it's raining or something. Drawers under the couch. Let's zoom in on the main rear wall of the cabin. Up top is a long shelf for long items like hiking poles. So just like the smaller trailer, there are dual side cabinets for clothing storage. So these are quite a bit bigger with a divider shelf. In the middle is just a mirror. Um, I'm, co I'm contemplating a pass through to the galley in this location. Below the mirror is a space for electrical outlets and such. The lower two doors are sliders that open into one large storage area. The bottom of this area has a removable trap doors I, is the best way to describe them. And below those doors will be an electrical area and possibly extra storage. So with this trailer, I do want to have the ability to have some 12 volt plugs and things like that by putting in an onboard battery. I'm also looking at air conditioning options. And to be honest, there doesn't really seem to be a perfect solution out there. The two main options seem to be the standard house 5000 BTU window unit uh, placed here or the climate right unit, which would probably have to go on the trailer tongue. Next up is the kitchen. Going from top to bottom, you have shelf storage for small items. I like how the more enclosed shelves with the front oval opening worked out on the previous trailer, so I incorporated them into this design as well. Then there's tall item storage, like for wine bottles or kitchen utensils. So in the middle above the countertop is a kitchen cabinet. This is that area where I was contemplating putting that pass-through option so you could access you know, the cabin from the galley and, and vice versa. So below the countertop is just general open storage on the left and drawers in the middle. So both of these spaces are just between two sliding doors just to keep everything in place. So here's the real reason for the propane tank on the tongue. It'd be for a drop-in stove on the counter, also a sink and water tank system. And finally, the slide-out cooler tray with a 12-volt plug, something like a Dometic cooler. So here are a couple different views of the trailer just to get a better sense of where everything is in relation to each other. Feel free to pause the video just to check each one out. So that's about it for the trailer design. Like I said, I'm still pretty early on in the whole process of putting everything together. So if you have any suggestions for changes or iterations that I can make to improve the trailer, let me know. I'd really appreciate the feedback. So I'll just wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed the design and thanks for watching.